For the purpose of this research project, I will examine the predator vigilance exhibited by mule deer and specifically will be focusing on the ear movement of these animals. Though this may serve as a bit of trivial information, the female deer does not grow antlers in its lifetime, whereas the male will grow and shed several pairs. So on the left we have an image of a female mule deer and on the right an image of a male. However, both sexes have those distinct large ears, which is actually how they got their name as the mule deer. In this first video, we will examine the predator vigilance behavior of a female mule deer. And what you can see here is that she is remaining vigilant of predator cues by looking and rotating her ears, even while she defecates. Tinbergen's four levels of analysis allow us to determine how and why this behavior occurs. And just to serve as a bit of a reminder, Tim Bergen's four levels of analysis are causation, development, evolutionary, and function. And causation is approximate explanation, that is one that describes mechanisms that allow an animal to exhibit certain behaviors. So you can notice how though the doe is defecating, she remains vigilant and exhibits a type of independent ear movement behavior, which was studied by Goodwin within virtual zebras. Interestingly, they found that ears can rotate independently in the direction of a particular sound. Osga, Malecki, and other researchers found that deer can determine the location of predators by independently examining individual sounds heard by each ear. Development as well is approximate explanation. A possible developmental explanation for this behavior would be that they have learned to exhibit this type of ear movement and predator vigilance from their elders, and that those that recognize predator cues survive longer. Researchers Galef Jr. and Lalande found that rhesus monkeys who grew up in a lab exhibited no fearfulness of snakes. However, wild rhesus monkeys did, suggesting that this avoidance behavior is indeed learned. So now we're going to move on to ultimate explanations for this predator vigilance behavior, which focuses on more long-term explanations and offers ideas behind why a behavior exists. Predator vigilance and ear movements can be traced back through evolutionary history as a behavior that has been ancestrally inherited over eons. In fact, Lincoln and Wilson noted that mule deer recognize the presence of predators more quickly than the other deer species under study. It has been hypothesized that because the habitat of mule deer involves open areas of land where they can be easily spotted, makes it necessary to be able to recognize auditory cues and be extremely vigilant to predators. Lastly is function. It has been hypothesized that benefits of predator vigilance are greater than the energy costs involved, as it is more beneficial for deer to take time and gather information about their surroundings than it is to proceed through the environment unaware of potential predators. So as you can see, it is more beneficial for these male deer to remain vigilant but remain eating than it is to flee or in worst case scenario not be aware of a spying predator. Researchers Stankiewicz and Bloomstein examined the flight initiation within reptiles and measured how close a reptile allowed a predator to come before leaving the heat of a sun-exposed rock. This illustrates the risk assessment that animals make when deciding to continue what they are doing or conversely to flee. And then finally, we have my proposed hypotheses as well as my references. Um, thank you for watching.